Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use SAG accounting to turn your business tasks into fun activities. So let's get started. First of all you can create your account from sign up here. However I'm just going to log in my account and I'm going to insert my password. Then login. And here is how your SAG will look like. So basically now it will ask you to update your own uh, personal information. So let's just do this in a couple of seconds. So it will ask you to update your company details, general settings, uh, VAT settings, which are related to your taxes, documents and statements, branding, uh, user defined uh, fields, email, email signatures and multi-currency. Once you are done, you can just press on save and close and you can go on. So I'm just going to fill all this information and come back to you in seconds. Once you are done, here is your homepage. So basically your homepage contains many features like your dashboard and specific dashboards and your workspace. So in dashboard here, you can find your key uh, metrics and the insights. You can also control what you see from dashboard options, add widget. So you can add or remove any of these widgets so that you will see what is most important to you. You can also visit specialized dashboards like this dashboard, which is related to customers or supplier or item or financial dashboard. Once you um, customize all of these, now we can go to my workspace and explore it more. So in your workspace, you have multiple options to do. Since there are plenty of options, we will not uh, go uh, to all of them since this is just a beginner tutorial. So for example, we can start by creating a code which you use as a quotation to your customers. By pressing on create code here, you will find fields which are pretty similar to the other options, but we will fill, the, we will fill these fields one time and then we will skip it in the other features. So here you can choose the customer you want. You can add a new customer from here. So by adding a customer, you can add his name. You can also add the credit limit, category, opening balance, customer VAT number, and opening balance as AT. You can also uh, fill the contact details here, default settings or addresses. Once you are done, you can press on save. This is because they are missing. Okay, it needs valid email address. Since we don't have time for this, I will just skip this step because this is pretty much data entry. It doesn't require explanation. And once you are done creating your customer, you can write the VAT reference, balance, credit limit. You can also add delivery address, post, postal address as well. You can add code details and you can add your items. You can add them by pressing on select item. Since we don't have items, you will have to add a new item from here. And you will also insert all the details of your item, like the code, description, VAT on sales, and opening cost, for example. Um, here in ex exclusive selling price, once you set it, you will find that inclusive selling data will be filled automatically. And once you are done, you can also mention the units and press on save. Once you, you you saved your item, you can choose it from here. You can also um, add items from here, add a line below it, or just remove this line. And you can add a message. Once you are done, you can email this uh, sheet or this document, or you can just save it. By creating your first code, now you are ready to move to the next step, which is creating an invoice. This invoice is what you use to sell your items to your customers. So by clicking on it, you will find that the fields are pretty much are pretty similar to what we saw before. Just a couple of small differences, so we will not fill this data. You can also create a, a receipt, which you will use to receive your own money. So in order to create a receipt, you have to insert your bank details to be able to receive money. 
So here you need to add the bank account, which is the main difference between this step and the other steps. Once you are done, you can create a credit note, which you use to uh, pay your customers when they return a good. So by pressing on it, you will find that fields are pretty much similar. And once you are done, you can also have many other options like creating a supplier invoice, which is used when you, when you purchase an item from a supplier instead of selling it to a customer. You can also um, create supplier payments here by paying your supplier after you uh, purchase items from him. And you can also import bank statements. This is actually, this actually has two ways to be done. The first one is by clicking on, on import bank statements from here and it will give you the option to upload it. Here, you can also uh, see the review transactions. And once you are done, you can save changes from here. And of course, you need to connect your bank to be able to do this step. So this is the first way to add your bank statements. The other step is to go to your banking here, go to transactions and go to manage bank feeds then you will need to connect your bank and it will be automatically up updated. So let, now let's choose the first option and press on continue. Then you have to accept the terms. Then finally, you will need to connect your own bank from here. So this is basically how you can update your um, transaction, she transaction sheets or your bank statements. You can also do many other options like record expenses, like view bank transactions, like send customer statements, uh, track your profit and losses, balance sheet, prepare your VAT return, and change company settings. You can also access on many features on the top bar. You can, for example, access your quick view to see a brief about your customers, suppliers, items, or bank accounts, or your own account. You can also um, Go to Customers tab to be able to edit all what is related to your customers. You can go to Suppliers to do the same, but for Suppliers, for Items, for your Banking, and for your own account, and more. You can also access the, sub the Support Help from here, where it will offer you um, customer service to help you to solve your issues, and it will also help you in the Help Center to access on many guides that will help you to reach uh, to a solution to your problems uh, uh, fastly, fast and, and uh, efficiently. You can also click on here to access to your profile or to log out of your account. So this is basically how easy you can use C. So that is for it. So that's it for this video guys. This is how easily you can use SAG. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you like this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.